Hello, Florida librarians. I am Lawrence Webster, and I am delighted to welcome you to the first presentation in the Marketing for Busy Librarians course being offered by the Florida Division of Library and Information Services. After looking at the participant list for this course, I am struck by the wide variety of libraries that you represent. Some of your libraries are really large, some very small and rural, some are urban, and some of you have very good grounding in marketing, and some of you are a little less experienced. Our aim here is to offer a grounding in some basic principles and some marketing approaches that you can take that won't break the bank or make unreasonable demands on your time, but will be effective in drawing people to your library. The Bureau of Library Development is experimenting with a blended approach in this course, combining short web presentations with online chat sessions. There will be three main sections in this course. Each one will include three short online presentations, less than 10 minutes apiece, followed by a live online chat session, when I'll be able to field your questions and you can discuss marketing issues with your colleagues around the state. Each group of three videos will be posted to the web a week before the chat session, and you can watch them at your own convenience, one at a time or all three at once. The online chat sessions will be September 8th, 15th, and 22nd. You'll get email reminders, but you might want to mark your calendars. In this first short presentation, we're talking about some basics. What is marketing? Why do it? And an introduction to the basic marketing process. But first, consider what the word marketing means to you. Many people in the service sector, including libraries, government, education, nonprofits, are likely to use words like outreach, public relations, community relations, or education to describe this endeavor. In for-profit corporations and big business, will tell you that marketing includes advertising, merchandising, sales, branding, research, and you'll hear some arcane words like value proposition and cost curve associated with marketing. Some dedicated and passionate nonprofit and library leaders feel that the term marketing is in some way suspect. I've heard a lot of people in my workshops worry that we're going to be talking about spin or manipulation or they'll express an underlying feeling that somehow marketing is undignified or ill-intentioned. On the other hand, sometimes people in libraries and government work are swayed by the we should run this more like a business mentality, and they'll go overboard with marketing jargon and the latest fad. I prefer a middle ground, and that's the approach we're going to take in this course. Marketing for libraries is a matter of clear two-way communication and education in a planned strategic process. Let's look at some definitions of marketing. The first definition here is approved by the Board of the American Marketing Association. It's formal, dry, and could mean a lot of different things to different people. The second definition is a working definition by Ned Potter author of the Library Marketing Toolkit, a very nice book, by the way, which combines all the important elements of marketing. What it's really about is doing lots of things to keep people engaged in conversation with you and your library as they come to know and love it. And the key is that they understand the value of the library and how it meets their personal needs and increases the quality of life in their communities. So when you, a colleague says to you, we need better marketing, what are you really saying? What are you hearing? It's simple, really. You want more awareness among your constituents, so they will use your awesome services more, and you want to be valued and respected as a vital institution. Now, you know that your services and resources can powerfully change lives, that your library can be a vital community hub. But do your constituents think of the library first when they want to learn a new language or watch a movie or help their kids succeed in school or seek help with navigating online government services? A good, well-thought-out marketing program will help your library become top of mind. Oh, that's another jargon term of mind 
throughout your community, changing lives one by one and enhancing community vigor, including economic development and educational success. To get there, we have to develop both a marketing mindset, a widespread attitude in our organizational culture, and knowledge and skill with some specific processes. One of the biggest challenges in library marketing is also our strength. We really do have something for everyone. Just look at this random list of a few things that public libraries in Florida offer. Even the smallest of our libraries has a product and service array that would be daunting for someone who focuses on marketing toothpaste or mayonnaise or Toyotas. For many of our services, a person need not even go near the library building. So we have a challenge in the complexity of what we offer, and we also have a great strength in that complexity. Something for everyone can be a big problem when it comes to designing a marketing plan. When the American Library Association developed the At Your Library theme, that was one way to create a single brand that would apply to all the many things, known and as yet unknown, that libraries can do for people. Florida's Libraries As also uses this notion, illustrated here. A uniform container in which to put all the many things libraries are to people. As we work through this course, we'll keep in mind the difficulties inherent in the fact that we exist to serve everyone not a specific and definable demographic sector, and that we offer services of a great many different kinds. So how will we market? A lot of people answer this question by immediately listing a bunch of activities. We'll upgrade our website. We'll send a news release. We'll make posters. Let's send some emails. How about a Facebook page? Oh, we need to learn to use Twitter. What about Instagram? Distribute a bookmark. Maybe we need to hire a graphic artist. I'm sure you've all heard these conversations about what to do with a marketing problem. That's just one part of marketing. And if you start here with the activities involved, you'll spend extra time for limited results. Detailed planning is crucial if you're going to call what you're doing marketing instead of a stab in the dark with hope. As with any other management function, it begins with goals, and objectives and moves to information gathering, setting objectives, and doing the actual work, assessing, modifying, and doing it all over again. All the fun in step four, designing print and web materials using social media planning events, are part of a disciplined plan, one that includes measures and assessment as well as solid upfront thinking and research. If all that sounds way too academic or onerous, please don't worry. Much of this work is common sense and very doable. We'll be revisiting this planning cycle throughout the course. This is almost the end of the first presentation. You can go on to the next one um, when we're done here or anytime before the online chat session on September 8th. Here's a little homework. Think about marketing or intensify your thinking about marketing, bring it up to top of mind. <laughs> what is one of the most important reasons to increase your marketing efforts? And then examine your own and your staff's attitudes towards marketing. Unpack the term, talk it over, see how you can get everyone on board with the notion of marketing. The next short video will go into a lot more detail about building a library culture of enthusiasm about marketing in your library family. I will leave you with this cartoon and, and an ancient old saw definition of marketing. Keep this in mind. If the circus is coming to town and you paint a sign or put up a poster saying circus is coming to fairgrounds on Sunday, that's called advertising. If you put the sign on the back of an elephant and walk him through town, that's a promotional activity. If the elephant walks through the mayor's flower bed and the newspaper publishes, covers it as a story, that's publicity. If you can get the mayor to laugh about it and get his picture taken with the elephant, and that goes in the newspaper too, 
That's called public relations. And if you planned the whole thing from beginning to end and assessed its effectiveness in building a circus audience, you've been marketing. The next show will talk about building the foundations of marketing culture and creating the conditions where your marketing efforts will be effective. I will see you next time.